Hey guys, um, hopping on to answer a question we actually get a lot. Uh, so let's we'll make sure we answer it in every possible place we can to increase the chances of you guys seeing it. Uh, the question is, do you need a professional email address? As in, for example, um, my portfolio site is nikicopy.com. So the question would be, do I need an email address that ends with nikicopy.com, like nikki at nikicopy.com or info at nikicopy.com? Do and you, do you as a professional copywriter need that email address? Uh, quick and simple answer, no. You don't. Um, I actually don't have an email address associated with that uh, website. There's a form on it uh, where potential clients and well, potential clients because current clients have my email address, but potential clients can uh, shoot me an email through that form. But the email that I use with my clients is just my personal email. Um, you don't need to spend money on a, a professional email. Um, you can, absolutely, if it makes you a little bit more comfortable, uh, and as long as it's not expensive, because remember, the philosophy is all about not spending money on things that, are, um, that aren't gonna pay for themselves and then some. Uh, if it's a couple of bucks a month and it makes you feel more comfortable, then absolutely go for it. But do you need it? No, you don't. Um, I would say that you do wanna make sure that your uh, email address, the one that you use with your clients, doesn't sound, um, you know, juvenile or odd. You know, if it's the same email address you've had since you were 17 and your email address is like bartsimpson69 at yahoo.com, might be worth updating just in general, uh, maybe worth really updating in general anyway. Maybe it's time to, to upgrade from Bart Simpson 69 at yahoo.com. Um, but my point is, is that uh, for the email address you, you, you use, it should be, uh, it shouldn't have any crazy connotations, uh, certainly no, you know, sexual or, or other kinds of connotations. Um, it should be a, a pretty, you know, bare bones, base level email address. Um, but as long as that's what it is, you know, maybe it's your, maybe it's your full name or maybe whatever. Um, that's perfectly fine to use with your client. No client is going to be put off by you having um, Sarah Jones at gmail.com kudos to you if you got Sarah Jones at gmail.com, but nobody's going to be turned off by you using Sarah Jones at gmail.com versus uh, Sarah at Sarah Jones copy.com. It's not going to make a big difference to a big difference to a client. Again, if you want to, if it feels, if you feel strongly about it, you absolutely can, as long as you're not shelling out a whole bunch of money for it, but it is not necessary. Um, one quick tip though I will give you is if you have a separate email address for your business, make sure that it either uh, forwards to your regular email address uh, so you see that stuff coming in in real time or uh, potentially maybe it goes to your phone instead if that's if you don't want it to forward maybe you make sure it goes to your phone so one way or another you're getting alerts when those emails come in. Uh, protect your schedule. If you don't wanna have instant alerts at every moment, maybe you wanna check your email two or three times a day at specific times, fine, great. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that the worst case scenario is you set up a new email address for your, for your, uh, for your company, for, that, that you set up a new email address for your business and it's a professional email address and you forget to check it for a while and you miss important stuff from clients or you miss potential clients reaching out to you. That's a bad scenario. So if, and again, not necessary, but if you wanna set up a separate email address for your business, just make sure that you're not gonna miss anything. So again, either make sure that it forwards to your regular email address uh, so you see stuff come in or make sure that you get an alert somehow so that you don't, um, wake up one day and realized, oh my, realize, oh my gosh, I haven't checked my business email for a week or whatever. Bad scenario. Uh, you want to give it just as much attention as you do your regular email address. But again, don't even need it. Don't need a professional email address. I just use my personal one with my clients and they are perfectly fine with that. I've never had any complaints.